Silence is golden, Harry. Silence is golden. Good evening, everyone. I hope this video finds you well. Folks, this is an absolutely hysterical advertisement coming out of the UK, an adult company called Love Honey. They're even getting in on the fun of making fun of Prick Harry. And he, why? Because he's absolutely ridiculous and deserves to be made fun of. Now, seeing this advertisement made me think that, has this company seen the pictures? Is this what they could referring to? Or are they just referring in general that you shouldn't spill other people's secrets? How would you feel if people started uh, spilling your secrets, Brick Harry? Probably wouldn't like it too much. Might be a little embarrassing. So silence is golden, eh? And now f the annoying news of the day out of People Magazine Prick Harry first spoke to Meghan Markle on Princess Diana's birthday. Do these people ever give it a rest, folks? Can, is, is it even possible for them to do or say anything without tying it to this poor woman? I mean, it's just, it's just bad. And then we've seen this and heard this quote, but I saw it today and it just, I read it and it just made me, you know, Prick Harry is the world's premier idiot. I mean, the stuff that comes out of his mouth, his advisors must be like, you know, biting their nails every time he gets in front of a camera or a microphone. My, from anti-Sussex memes, my family haven't put in the work that I have. Oh, your hard work, taking drugs. And by that, I mean, they haven't taken the drugs that I have, which helped me see the truth. Well, Prick Harry, you do understand that when you're on drugs, you don't see the truth. It's a warped version of it. You understand that, right? At least the drugs that he's talking about, like psychedelic mushrooms and things of that nature, and Lord knows what else. I mean, this guy is just, he's again, the world's premier idiot. Well, 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 from the Daily Express, Prick Harry's comments backfire as Camilla pulls higher than Megan in the U.S. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that right. So, you know, Prick Harry saying that Camilla is only popular because she planted stories in the U.K. Well, I don't think that Camilla, and he didn't make the charge that Camilla was planting any stories in the U.S., yet she's still coming out ahead of the American, Meghan Markle. How about that? How about that? This just came out, folks. Then in one month from Newsweek, the more Prick Harry and Meghan Markle say, the less Americans like them. So in one month, folks, with this book, he has managed to completely destroy whatever reputation they did have they had left in this country. Meghan Harry and Meghan's popularity is now officially underwater in the United States as well, following the release of Scare, Spare. Now, if that's not the de definition of being markled, I don't know what is. So she's had a 36-point drop, and he's had a 45% drop. That is breathtaking. That is breathtaking. And so it, with one fail swoop, Americans have completely wiped these two out at the knees. And they'll never recover from this. These two are people that can, will never be able to recover because they suck. And they'll just get keep digging themselves deeper and deeper and deeper. Way to go, guys. From Sunrise, they are getting the cold shoulder in California. It is reported that a member of the Sussex's high profile, that a number of the Sussex's high profile friends have deserted the couple in the wake of Harry's bombshell interview. And that's, you can just chalk that up to, and I've, I've said it myself and the other YouTubers, Hollywood does not want tattletales who can't and won't keep secrets around them. They're probably freaking out as is. They're just trying to stop the bleeding by not going near them everywhere again. But Harry and Meghan have a lot of secrets, I'm sure, and we all know they have no problem telling them. Hopefully some people will start, you know, nobody likes to be a tattletale and start telling secrets, but 
hopefully Harry and Meghan will push somebody far enough to start divulging all of the things that people know about them. It's coming. They'll do it. So I commend you, America. We knew you'd come around. Way to go. Then this is interesting. Prick from Letavine 2021. Prick Harry's popularity with the British public is now at a negative, about a negative 43% in January of 2023. Now, who said that Harry and Meghan weren't talented? Because they sure are talented in making people hate, despise, and dislike them, among a million other things. But there is uh, some bad news coming out. I just saw this from the, the Telegraph that in addition to Prick Harry and Meghan's, you know, drastically falling um, approval ratings, Prince William and Catherine's popularity are is plunging in the wake of this memoir too. Now I'm just going off by what the Telegraph says about their uh, uh, approval ratings, which Prick Harry and Meghan, if this is true, are going to see this as a win and totally worth it because they think that they can redeem themselves. They're completely out of their mind that they think that, but they do think that they can redeem themselves and they think that they they have permanently wounded Catherine and William. And, but they don't understand that those ones are the actually those ones are actually the ones that can redeem themselves. So now folks, I was able to come across an unauthorized uh, version of Cliff Notes from Spare that is the best book review and description and, you know, to come out that I've seen thus far of what is in this book. Book. Let's get started. We'll exploit mummy for sympathy and money. We'll fuck up mummy's legacy by projecting my creepy Oedipus complex onto her and turning her into a penis cream symbol. We'll demonize my brother, sister-in-law, niece, and nephews in my book and cause them to be hounded by the press while still refusing to see the irony. We'll try and kill my father and admit to it in my book. We'll write Megan's divorce and custody case for her in my book for money. We'll get divorced from my wife, alienated from my children, exiled from my family, and sued by Elizabeth Arden. We'll talk about my penis in my book for money. We'll turn Camilla into a Disney villain for money. Now, whose idea do you think that was? Because, you know, Harry doesn't necessarily live in a Disney move, uh, you know, a Disney make-believe movie, but Megan certainly did. We'll ask my mother-in-law for more drugs, I mean therapy. Will expose myself as a junkie in my book and give Megan the upper hand in the divorce. We'll go to a party just for the mushrooms. We'll fuck in a field for cocaine. We'll use drugs to help me cope with my bitch of a wife. We'll smoke drugs while my kids are asleep. We'll steal hospital laughing gas to get high while my son is being born. We'll twerk for an extra sausage or drugs. We'll lose custody of my children. We'll mount like a stallion. So those are Harry's uh, nuts in Megan's cracker, if you will. That's, that's, or, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that's it in a nutshell, but that's Harry's nuts in Megan's nutcracker, if you think about it. This book is her, do well, she's got her own dossier, but this book is her dossier for destruction. The dossier of destruction. And she's loving every second of it, folks. From the Daily Express, I like this because this will wound the narcissist. They have Catherine labeled as a class act. And it made my, other than it's going to wound the narcissist, it made me think to myself, you know, Megan has never been called a class act or classy by anyone other than herself and the dim-witted sugars. Why? Obviously, for obvious reasons, she's not. But Catherine has been labeled classy, a class act, total class, multiple times and counting. And Megan has never gotten that from anyone, folks. 
nor will she. Then this is interesting. Megan's arch nemesis, Kim K, has just bought an auction, bought at auction an amethyst cross necklace, which was only ever worn by Diana for prox for approximately two hundred thousand dollars. To think, M gave up access to the crown jewels, believing that she too could become a billionaire just like Kim. So now Megan has nothing. So this is quite interesting, folks. Do you think that Kim K buying that necklace is an epic troll on Megan? Or do you think she's just a super fan of Diana's? I'd be interested in what your thoughts are. I'm not quite sure what to make of it. I do know that it irritated and pissed Megan off, so that works for me. That's good enough for me. But I just don't know what was the drive behind it. So, interesting. Then from Nar Markle News 1, there's rumors of Meg starting her own housewares and beauty brand beauty brand on this beauty gossip Instagram that usually gets the scoop on new releases. That's why she is still so tight with Daniel Martin and branching out to Vicky Sai. She really is destined for QVC, isn't she? Well, she'll be a failure because, and this made me think, she's trying to compete with um, Chrissy Teigen Tegan, who actually can cook and has a passion for cooking and actually has shown off her cooking chops. Megan only talks about roasting chicken. That's not going to be enough to get people to buy your housewares, honey. It's just not going to be. And then Kim Kardashian has been obsessed with makeup sh since she's been a little girl, had been talking about makeup on her reality show since the beginning of time and actually does her own makeup etc etc it's a passion her of hers megan just seems like she put you know put a dart board up and just is throwing darts to see what you know what she should what kind of business she should start it will fail because it will be the opposite of authentic and organic people will be able to see right through it then this is interesting. It's all part of the plan, folks, from Bright on Twitter. Interesting to note that Prick Harry has gone to bat for Meghan Markle countless times defending her. But now that Harry is in the hot seat being raked over the coals, a global laughingstock, that he is, folks. She is invisible and silent. Not a word from the narcissist. She's letting him fall. Do you think this is all part of her plan or she's being quiet? You know, we're all wondering where she is. Is she embarrassed that the world knows that she's married to a complete and total idiot? Who knows? But it is clear she's not doing anything to defend him. Not at all. Then from Van72, my good buddy on Twitter, she could very well come out of this looking like a saint. Harry's drug shot, shock. He's ruined everything. New scandal and the dire consequences for Megan. She will come. I don't know that she'll come out looking like a saint, but when she does leave him and all of the things she does to him, that will seem justified. You know, because he is so awful, she, it will seem justified to the public. And she will garner some sympathy because, because of it. She knows what she's doing. Megan also has advisors. You better believe Megan has advisors that he doesn't know about. They have their advisors. He has his advisors that she's in control, but she also has secret advisors, and they're just mapping out the plan of what's going to be best for her. Quite frankly, I mean, I don't blame her. I mean, who would want, I mean, this is, he's, he's, he sounds awful, drug-addled, you know, if the rumors are to be true, we all know what he's done to animals. He has a temper. He he fought, you know, he, he physically abused his own security guards. So he deserves nothing less. Nothing less, folks. And put this in the file. I saw this on Twitter. I, I, I died laughing. Prick Harry being touted as the next James Bond 007. Yeah. Right. He can't even read, let alone remember his lines to be the James Bond, folks. <laughs> the British people, the British people would never accept it. The world would never accept it. But the British people especially would never accept him as the next 
James Bond. Can you even imagine? Put it in the file. Put it in the trash. And that's all I have for you today. And kind of not much going on that we haven't already heard yet. So uh, just some funny things wanted to share with you guys. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow silence is golden harry you'd hate if people started coming out and talking about you see you later